Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're going to take a look at this Smith's 6 inch trihone sharpening system. Let's do this real quick. Now, I haven't sharpened this knife much. I sharpened it maybe once before with this, and well, we're going to do it again to really test this thing out. There's three different kinds of stones on here coarse, medium, and fine. Coarse would be if like you had a bunch of nicks in your blade, which I don't. So we're going to start with, well, medium. Whoops, I'm sorry. We're going to start with medium. And this is really going to kind of get that edge back on your knife. And then the fine, it's really for honing and polishing. Now they do include a little bit of honing solution in here. You could also use water and such like that. But really, let's get right down into it. They do include a nice little angle guide if you do so wish, or you can make your own out of wood. So what you really want to do is just put a little bit Now this is a wet stone system, so you do not want to use this dry. You definitely want to have something on there. And then you just take your little angle guide here and kind of just place it on the stone and go for it. You can definitely use that angle guide if you want. I like to go for feel. And as you're pushing forward, you also want to pull the knife along the length of the blade. So you sharpen the whole blade. And then you do the same on the other side. Now you don't need to use a whole ton of force here. You just want to go slow. You'll get the hang of it. Add a little more solution if you need. And or water. You'll kind of get the feel of how much you think you need. And I would say definitely take your time, and if you have a couple knives to sharpen, now is a good time to do it since you already got this thing wet and ready to go. You might as well sit and take a nice well, time doing it. We'll kind of flip over to the fine, and we'll do the same thing to this one. Now before I make too much of a mess on my table here, let's kind of check this edge and see what it looks like. Now if you want, you can definitely go ahead, get a piece of paper and do the Rambo paper test. At least that's what I remember it from. But you should be able to slice paper pretty good. Not that I, I know if you're ever really gonna slice paper, but it's a test at, well, how sharp you can get your knife. Now I can see it's getting there. But the tip isn't as sharp as I would like it. I can kind of see one little nick. I mean tiny. So we're going to keep going. Now I must say definitely being a novice at sharpening knives. This Smith Stone has helped me out a lot because it really does make, ooh, that's much better. It does make nice work of, well, getting my knife very sharp. And honestly, this Mora knife that I've been using, oh, I have beat this thing up like crazy intentionally to, well, see what it can do and what it can handle. And I love these things. I bought a million of these things, well, not a million, but I have probably, I don't know, 10 of them because they're cheap and they're just sharp. They keep their edge fairly well. Like I said, this is about the second time that I've gone to sharpen this thing. And I can't complain. I'm ready to go, you know, cut some wood up, make some feather sticks, make some shavings, and go have a nice fire out in the winter now. We'll just polish it up just a little bit more to be sure. But we're pretty much done for today, so I'll see you on the next one.
there's something relaxing about sharpening your tools, sharpening your knives, sharpening your axes. <sighs> there really is. Now, if you are interested in buying this or you want to know where you can buy well, either of these items, go ahead and check my Amazon link in the description. It definitely helps me out. It no extra cost to you, and I thank you for it. Ah, and if you didn't can I can't speak right. If you didn't subscribe yet, consider subscribing. I have at the moment over 300 videos to watch. I mean, that's quite a bit of content for you to binge on. So I'll definitely see you on the next one. Oh.